basically, you tear off like a piece of injera here. Seize your hands, and then you wrap it here, and then you eat it. Go mm. work. Hi, Antoine Diaz here of Our Awesome Planet and we're here in the first Ethiopian dinner here in Manila and we're so excited with uh, here at Fast Gallery. Come on, let's try it. Okay. Alright. I'll see you guys upstairs. Thank you. Hello. Hi. We'll set up for uh, tonight's dinner. We have a personalized name. Oh, personalized name. A uh, wine tasting notes. Hmm, interesting. Eat Ethiopia. Eat Ethiopia for sure. And uh, the main menu for tonight. It's so exotic that uh, we're so excited to just eat. What wine is that? Very injured. That's what's sparking wine. White scene for now? Yep. Okay. This is Helena, the saga. She's behind Eat Eat You. Yes, she wants to, she could say a little bit about her dishes. Oh yeah, like welcome for this by the way. Um, hopefully if it's your first time eating your food, I do justice for it so that you would have it more. Um, so the first round of dishes, um, traditionally it's a flat bread. It would not be sliced in the middle. So this is my because we don't eat like starter, we don't eat like nibbles in Ethiopia. Everything comes together and you eat everything at once. But then you know I'm trying to make Ethiopian food accessible for people to understand it. So this is like my modern version of nibbles, like Ethiopian nibbles. The bread we use in Ethiopia and then tomato salad we always eat it. So, and then flaxseed as well we eat it. Like we have it as a juice. We, we use flaxseed a lot in Ethiopia. So instead of using Western butter, I I said okay, flaxseed spread would be a nice idea. And so basically every ingredient is Ethiopian, but presented with my touch. Yeah, but everything is Ethiopian. <laughs> yeah. So hope you enjoy it. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, Oh, I like that spice. It has that bite, and then it's citrusy, and then, no? Yep. Yep, yep, yep. I like the heat, the heat, but then the other is that I don't know if, if there is citrus or is it just my imagination. There's a bit. Like in the yeah. 
Who's the puncher? That same spice is there again. Okay, so in Ethiopia actually the sweet tartar is um, a traditional um, dish, but obviously like it's presented with my taste and style. And the, the the injera that you see is the one you had before, yeah. but this is just made chips. We made chips out of it, so it's crunchy, and you put like you mix a little bit butter and cheese, homemade cheese as well, and then a little bit of that. Mix it together. Enjoy. <laughs> So this is for four packs, no? Yes, four packs. Um, that's three it. Packs. Yeah. And then this one. That's okay, that's for six, no? Six. It's a real long. I've been happy to eat with your hands. I mean, I can have so a little heat. Yeah. yeah. I really like this. It's so yeah. different. It's very good. I've never had it before. No? Let's try it. Oh, no, yes. I can't. It's spicy, but not too spicy. Like a weird kind of spice. Like this one. Very nice. This in the middle, this in the middle. Oh, 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 yeah, it's so slow cooked for like more than 12 hours, like 18 hours. So it's so the Burberry spice, um, onion, lots of onion, but the onion is really cooked, so it's more like blended like a sauce instead of filling the onion. And then it has a lot of other spices, even clarified herb butter. And then um, for the chicken, we use the suvi, like to, because traditionally you just cook it in one pot, but then the chicken falls apart if it's too many. Yeah. So recently I've been using to be it's so good, like it's consistent. It's also yeah. tomatoes. Tomatoes are yeah. tomatoes. It has a little bit to make it just bind it a little bit. Yeah and also not to make it too spicy. Traditionally in all times they never use tomato. tomato. Just but it's, onions it's so spicy. Yeah. Just the onion and spices and herbs. Onion, spices. But the spices they just get to see all yes, the spices. Yes, so one of it the Burberry one. So it's made out of like around 12 different um, uh, herbs and spices uh, and then blended together all my spices in Ethiopia are made by my mom so I don't use like outside so it just it's very flavorsome and uh, aroma is really good yeah so always small batches so yeah no calorie lots no of fiber wow. lots of fiber and uh, gelatin free so that's why it's um, at the moment if you just go back all the articles that come is like the new super grain move over quinoa so I mean it's great but at the same
same time for me, like, you know, I come from India, but I grew up there. For me as a business, it's perfect thing because I will be selling, but I don't want to because it's not going to be sustainable. Yes, it's it. like, you know what? It's a kilo, yeah. Yeah, so when everyone's going crazy about it. Even in Hong Kong now, a lot of coffee start serving it. They can't make this because this is very much traditionally made. They just make like flat bread out of it and stuff. It's very new for other people so they don't really know how to use it but they put it in like canola they're using it as porridge as well just because nutritionally it's good yeah. you just smell it and what is that? The coffee, coffee bean. Did you yeah. toast them? What did you do? Uh, yeah, it's, we roasted it here. We roasted them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I answer? Yeah, this side. Yeah, but again. Okay. We don't eat dessert traditionally. So, but what we have is like after a meal, everyone gathers and then we make coffee. Like we roast it, we wash it, we roast it, we grind it, we make coffee. So it's more like something you enjoy doing things together. It's like tea ceremony in Asia, right? And then we eat in the modern houses. We eat uh, popcorn with it. But then in the traditional way, they would be like roasted barley and that kind of thing. So I say, rather than just doing any other dessert I could do, you know, like it doesn't matter, any cake, I was like, okay, let me do something that represents that ceremony. But then in the West, not necessarily everyone just want to have coffee. And so I was like, okay, let me do popcorn ice cream. Yeah, thank you. A single origin uh, Ethiopian coffee, so I think it should have a little bit of chocolatey feel instead of bitter. It should be smooth, taste it a little bit, and then you have a choice to mix it with your ice cream and eat it, but taste the ice cream first as well. Okay. Um, and then mix it a little bit and eat it together, or you have a choice not to mix it. It's up to you. Yeah? Enjoy! Thank you! Okay. <laughs> What's happening for her? It's his anniversary with his girlfriend. So oh, that's why he has to leave now. That's why he has to leave. He's excited. Thank you so much. We'll see you tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow. We'll be back tomorrow again. <laughs>